Season 1, Episode 3, Bad Mummies. And I only said it like that to remind myself for when I have to upload this. I like the des I like this design. It, it's just I, I don't, there's something really unique about it. Like it's just a, it's like just a squiggly just a bunch of squiggly little lines. I don't know. Need to you assigned yesterday. Welcome to the team. Oh no. Sorry, I need to stop. It's me. I'm showing up. I'm ready to do love. Me. Baby got its meat to you? Assigned yesterday. Welcome to the team. Oh, no, I'm actually Becca's bug. Oh, you're with titties. Well, then why won't she put it in our mouth? Oh, wait. Two out of three guesses to, uh, as to who the voice of that is. We won! You are in Yeah, I'm a fucking mean gay man! Hey, hey, mama. How's things? I took an eight pound shift and now it springs at me every hour. Okay, unflinching look at motherhood. Ladies and gentlemen, Ali Wong. I'm in no mood to go meta right now, okay? I'm exhausted. And you? Yeah, I mean, I. That was basically her, her one stand up special. You ditched me at the hospital. Oh, let's forget about the old Emmy and the mistakes that dumb hussy made. I'm the new Emmy. I show up. <laughs> With a gift, look. And it did used to have a head. Yeah, maybe it needs to... Um, Becca? Oh, are you Becca's me, demon? I I'm Emmy. I'm her new love bug. Wow, big pipes on that one. Get sleep. Get food. Get She can sleep with a kid at the college. Oh, 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 I mean, I, I, that's, that thing is not cute. Yeah, I can't really empathize to a large extent with this because I've never been through this myself. I, what the fuck are you doing? You're trying to glow! Oh my god, you can't even glow? No, no wonder I don't love this thing. <gasps> you don't love the baby? Well, maybe I would if I didn't have a JV ass love bug who can't do her job. Well, how am I supposed to do my job if you don't love the baby? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, ka-ching! What the hell are you doing here? A mother who doesn't love her own baby and a love bug who can't glow. Oh, what the shame, Lottery! <laughs> Fuck me, Doc. Your prized loveless mother. Right, smile. Ooh, you look exhausted, love. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I can't. I can't play that song. These can feel like troubling times for we shame wizards who serve oh. body positivity, self love, pay equity. We wonder: is female shame a thing of the past? I leave you with a story. Flying in today, I shared an exit row with a mother and daughter. I watched mom assure the flight attendant that her little girl. I'm sorry, it's just weird that there's other shame wizards. I mean, it makes sense, honestly, that, I mean, if there's multiple love bugs and multiple hormone monsters, of course there'd be multiple shame wizards, but 
so bizarre for me. Things were husky enough to open the cabin door. She then proceeded to order herself a hot water with splendor. Hmm. In that moment, I felt certain of one thing. As long as there are women, there will be shame. Thank you so much. Thank you. The Your Body, Your Fault chapter was so devastating. Your Body, Your Fault. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm geeking out. Sorry. Oh, no. Stay here, darling. I hope you didn't have to wait online too long. Wow. I can't believe I'm meeting the shame wizard who did Joe Paterno. Mm -hmm. Just a rumor. Hello, mommy. Hello. Ah, uh, Oh! Wow. This is fun. Should probably address the Cape Town whore thing, but okay. Dialogue. I've forgotten you work here. Yes, and I think all my emails might be going to your spam. <laughs> Hi! There she is. How was Becca's last night? A new mom with a brand new squishy baby? You must be glowing like cray all day. Yeah, I I'm actually not glowing that, that much, or like at all. And when I try to, I kind of fart. Oh, no. Not all new parents bond with baby right away. Really? Sometimes you get a slow glow, and that's totally normal. Have you had that happen? Me? Oh, hell no. I glow fast and I glow hard. But again, no shame in it. That's right. As long as you're a slow glow, doesn't turn into a no glow. Oh, yeah, a no glow. There's definitely shame in that. Look, my glow is not the problem here. It's Becca's own fault. She can't glow right. That woman is a ill glow. Emmy, you can't be talking about your clients that way. You should hear the way she talks to me. Not to be mean, but she's rancid to her core, and I really do hope she dies of a brand new cancer. Emmy! I wasn't, I said A brand new cancer? Me? Okay. Did you learn nothing from our training day? Our clients are our babies. And if we don't love our babies, they won't love themselves. And if they don't love themselves, they're never going to love their babies. I'm sorry. Do you mind if I grab a breast mint since you're both shitting down my throat at the same time? Oh, honey, we were just trying to help. I know, I know. You just, you don't have to be such Beckas about it. Ah, oh, Lori. Wait. Ugh, God damn it. I'm not going back because I hate it when I do that. Female orgasm playing. Oh, for the love of God. Jizz, female orgasm, boobies, and playing ass like Bongo. I'm sorry to keep doing this. I forgot my goddamn password. Uh, it's Jizz with six C's and a pound sign. What are you boys doing here? Shouldn't they be a school? There's a crabs outbreak at their Cumber Garden. One dirty dick and they gotta shut down the whole damn place. Oh, Daddy's sorry for raising his voice and he loves you. Oh, man. You gonna be able to handle that child loud at work? Uh, I'll manage somehow. Okay, let's see. We got a kid who's found his dad's flashlight. A glory old grand opening. Hell, I went out for the dick set, but... Uh, <coughs> yeah, no, no. A kid who found his dad... Not Andrew. Marty Glaberman wouldn't do that. You could, you could never handle all these dicks. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. It's just a lot of responsibility, and you're, you know, kind of a, a hot fuck up. How oh, dare you, you sexy shithead? Look, I'm just saying, you're not really a kid person. Well, I'd be a great dick sitter, so it's your loss. All right, okay, so you think you can do it? Of course I do. Right? It is great. Well, then you're going to need the rundown. First, they eat Cool Ranch Doritos. Oh, no, Comprende. Oh. Chew them up. Why? I should probably stop now. Yeah, that's good enough.